We've been seeing a lot of sexual assault cases where the prosecution cannot prove force. They're having trouble proving that the person was intoxicated. They're having trouble proving that the alleged victim was in fear of bodily harm. So they've been relying on this new strategy and it's been getting convictions in some cases. What the prosecution will do is claim that the victim was instead afraid of this person because of rank. And I've seen him even do it in a case where it was an E6, my client was an E6, and the alleged victim was an E5, and they had a long affair, and their theory at trial was that because he was an E6 and she was an E5, he had a little bit of rank on her, and then instead of just saying I, I had an affair with this guy and he dumped me, the alleged victim went on to claim that because of that rank and because he had a lot of friends who they were senior NCOs, she felt that she had to go into that sexual relationship. But I've seen these cases go all the way to court, and it gets worse when the accused outranks the alleged victim by more rank than one rank. Some of these alleged victims will go to great lengths to embellish how they're so terrified of that person's rank, and sometimes the juries will buy it. Get someone on board in your case that knows what they're doing, that knows how to handle these situations because they're getting more and more challenging to handle, and the prosecutors and the special victim councils are getting more and more skilled at how they're preparing and coaching their victims.